Hello Aries and welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you are all doing amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome and cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. Now Aries, because this is your general love reading, the roles can always be reversed. They can always be flipped. So I say this every week, only take what resonates, apply it to your heart space, to your unique situation and to your intuition. Your intuition knows everything. It doesn't need physical evidence and it will never lead you astray. Aries, whatever does not resonate, you know, that's just not part of your story. It just wouldn't even make sense if it was. Just toss it to the side, Aries. You definitely do not need it. So Aries, I am here to simplify tarot for you in hopes of gaining understanding, clarity, insight, but your confirmation, which is very important. It will be very personal and very unique to every Aries watching this, including um, cross watchers. Let's get straight into it, Aries. Um, let's definitely just dive in with the energies here in regards to you and your person, especially for those that are not talking, as I said in the title there, um, that you saw soulmates in separation. So I just really want to get just dive in a lot more deeper. Let's talk about, um, well, let's find out just new information, new insight, everything that's new. Let's see. <clears throat> For Aries, please, and their person. Here we go. One more. Excellent. Aries, also, if you do like this reading, there will be the optional extended reading, and the link to that um, extended reading is in the description box below. Um, it is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. It is available to rent, to purchase. You can download it to your phone, your computer. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. It's actually yours for life. And there we'll be digging a lot more deeper into your person's energy, such as their true thoughts and feelings about you and this connection. What are the changes will there be? Such as will there be even communication, contact? And remember reconciliation will mean many things. Um, it could be closure. It could be even, you know, for peace, the chance for forgiveness, for healing, to pick up where you left off. Let's see. Just want to get a really good shuffle here for you Aries and there we go let's get straight into it what's at the bottom of your deck Aries what do we have oh wow okay the potential perhaps to start anew we have the magician here the ultimate manifester ruled by Gemini and also Virgo so it seems here that perhaps you and your person but let's talk a bit more about your person here it's talking about manifesting something the magician is uh, often known as you know the one or the knight in shining armor here as well but it's also about brand new beginnings it seems here that your person is probably wishing here for a brand new beginning um they do want to manifest something but how are they going to do this let's see okay so there's definitely manipulation before i see this there has been some manipulation here. Um, the reason why I say that is because the magician with, well, a less than desirable card. In fact, this is one of my least favorite cards. Um, the Seven of Swords. We've got someone sneaking away there, as you can see, Aquarius energy. That there could have been some, as in when I say manipulation, it's like white lies, you know, kind of masking the truth here. Because this is about lying, cheating, stealing, trying to be strategic. Very sneaky energy here as you can see. So trust is a big issue with this person. I can definitely see that. Um, are you in communication? No, I don't feel like you are. And if you are, you don't trust the conversations, but this on its own, which is way more powerful than a minor arcana, because this is a major, they do want to manifest something, but trust is a huge block. It is a very big barrier here, Aries. You really do not trust this person, but look at this. They're regretting this. The Five of Cups, Scorpio energy, crying over spilt milk here. Um, your person definitely could be over drinking there. I, I do pick that up quite a lot um, every week with your person, Aries. It's like they don't know how to hold their drink and they just numb it, either with a lot of drinking or you know self-medication or overeating, whatever vice they have here as well. I know that you're very disappointed, Aries, by their actions, by their words, the fact that perhaps they didn't come yet and fight for you. So, hmm. Yeah, we've got the King of Pentacles. We've got very strong Taurus energy. Could be a Virgo also and a Capricorn. Perhaps this person you found out was committed to someone else or married to someone else. Maybe they straight away, you know, you found them that they were committed very quickly to someone else here as well. I mean, I'm definitely seeing here that it's almost like this person is a bit hard to read, I have to admit, because their actions and their emotions, like here, they had no problem doing any sneaky energy behind you. They want to manifest you. 
but then they're also regretting their actions here because um, they're very embarrassed by it and then they want stability with you so this person is i feel like they're all over the place look at that five of swords not a happy card isn't it um, Aquarius energy so I'm definitely seeing that there's some catty energy here um, you know definitely some arguments some tension yeah there's definitely could have been less than desirable people around your person especially if they were committed um, in the home dynamics family dynamics children everyone got affected here definitely there was more than one person because we have the king of cups Scorpio energy could be Pisces and a cancer it seems that they have kind of grown up emotionally you know, it's almost like they, when I say grown up, I think they've seen their error of their ways, which is why we've got the judgment card, more Scorpio energy, that they want to bring this back to life. This person, very quietly, they've had uh, an epiphany. They've had a huge wake up call of thinking, oh, okay. Not only have I heard that third person, but I've also heard perhaps if there were children here involved, home dynamics, I've deeply heard Aries. And as a result, Aries, now there's this big, big, huge wall now um, that you have put. You, there's a big wedge now between you and this person. Um, they, they, but it's easier that there is, un, well, according to them, there is unfinished business here. And they do want to bring this back to life, though. But that Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Five of Cups, they've really shot themselves in the foot here several times. So I'm wondering, have they learned the lesson here? Or are they just feeling super romantic still about you? So they need to learn their lessons. What is the head of your reading? Oh, okay. You got temperance, Sagittarius energy, one of my favorite cards for healing. So to salvage this, to just repair the damage that your person has, um, what they've done here to this connection to you, Aries, as an individual, they need to come back with no baggage at all. This is about peace, balance, harmony here, um, to definitely not be impulsive, to be patient with you as well. Mm. They do want to heal this though. This is at the head of the matter. This drives pretty much the rest of the reading. Eight of Wands, more Sag energy. This is the second fastest moving energy in the entire deck. Very clearly here, well, for some of you, a person actually could be at a distance, at a certain distance, or perhaps they just don't like feeling that emotional distance um, from your Aries. Perhaps they're not even feeling your energy anymore. This is known as Cupid's arrow, love messages. So definitely to heal this, to manifest this, they're going to have to reach out first. Ooh, yeah, Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. So what's part of these messages is reconciliation. Yep, Cancer Energy. So they want to reconcile. Um, and this is all about celebration, coming together. It's a very social card, um, very sociable in the sense that perhaps, you know, they say, let's go out somewhere, you know, our favorite spot or do something that we both enjoy doing together. I'm seeing a lot of friends being invited to birthdays, engagements, weddings, perhaps with this person. They want to rekindle, you know, that beautiful romance that spark between both of you the thing is though i am seeing that there was an issue of a third party now i always say this yes it probably was infidelity or maybe it was um you know an ex that kept interfering family member friend co-worker was at a distance we have a driving force here and it did lead to a lot of arguments and tensions towards the very end what else do we have three of wands aries energy Wow. So it's beautiful. Considered very lucky to get the three of wands because your person is actually waiting for the right time. So during this period where you're not talking to each other and I, I, you may be dealing here with a fellow Aries, it could be very strong in their chart. They're waiting for the right time. I always say that it's like, you know, if things were easy for them, there would be a big neon sign saying, OK, now approach Aries. This is the time. It's now or never. Now I'm seeing more threes here. So definitely there is the issue of a third party that was ultimately that driving force where both of you went your separate ways. Um, but your person instantly regretted it. They're like, damn, I, I don't have Aries anymore. That's the thing. So now they're actually waiting for the right time to strike, to send this message to you. So what is the beating heart of your reading? Page of Cups. I think they're realizing here what they did was very immature. I mean, they couldn't have been very selfish. It's about me, me, me. What about me, Aries? What I'm going through and all that. So I'm seeing an apology here because I instantly thought of the five of swords. There may have been manipulation where it was your fault, but I did this because of you, Aries. It's like, uh-uh. No, Aries, you smell BS a mile away, okay? You're very assertive and you get straight to the point. That's what I love about your energy. Um, but that's why we've got here. It's almost like they're waiting for the right moment to send. This is all messages here. Um, they want to say the right thing though um, and yes we've got apologies messages fueled by emotions backed by love here but how are you going to respond I mean do you even want to respond to this person there's something about their attitude here that could be hot cold hot cold or just very irresponsible 
I mean, I do like that they are coming as the king, but let's see. Before I move on, what else do we have? Six of Swords. Aquarius energy. You're taking your heart with you. I've seen here that you've tried very hard to move on. I see that you're very independent. Uh, you do have like kind of three international cards, you know, six of swords, three of wands, eight of wands, all show that there is some sort of distance here between both of you. Um, <clears throat> As part of this message, though, is that they want to move into calmer waters with you. And I say that because sixes are all about healing. That's why they have accepted these lessons because six is moving on from the five of swords. This is good. We're moving on. We're not going backwards. Um, so have they learned their lesson? Yes, they have. Do they realize they need an attitude check? Yes, I feel like they are blaming themselves, especially with that five of cups. It's like because of me, woe is me, because of my attitude, because of this, um, because I, I'm almost feeling they may have even defended someone else. They had someone else's back over you and they didn't really honor you and this connection. They didn't protect your heart space. So now they want to move into karma waters with you. They de definitely, def they definitely learned their lesson though. What else? Knight of cups. Hmm, okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Knights are about messages. They're all about changes. This one of the romantic kind. We've got more apologies coming your way. I really see that your person is going to go out of their way here to make you feel special. Maybe towards the end, you just didn't feel special. You didn't even feel like a priority. In fact, you just felt like something disposable. I know that sounds terrible to say that, but it's kind of like those feelings I'm picking up from the majority of you, Aries. You just didn't, you felt like an option and that's not good. You should always feel like the priority um, because I feel like you did that for your person. They didn't reciprocate though. Uh, they were probably just, they couldn't even be breadcrumbing you and that, that's just cruel. But now we've got some major changes here of the romantic kind, that spark again. What else do we have? King of Wands. Leo energy um, could also be a Sag and an Aries. They're taking action. The King of Wands is the go-getter. Um, make excellent salesmen here as well. They could be in sales. That's just an example. Um, but this is someone that not only do they find a lot of passion um, with you, but there's also a lot of love here. But they're going to finally take action from thinking, oh, when's the right time to? No, I need to do this now. I need to implement these changes with the magician, manifest a brand new beginning here. So they will be taking leadership here. Oh, wow. This may take you by surprise, though. What's the outcome here? So when they actually do these changes, when they approach you, when they send these messages, what is the outcome here for you? OK, we've got the Ace of Cups falling in love all over again. They're going to be asking you for another chance. Couldn't help to notice we've got the heart right there, almost in the same position. Oops, just knocked my elbow there. So, yeah, uh, I have to admit, this is... um. They want a brand new start. There's no other way to put this. It's falling in love all over again with you. Aces are all about beginnings. Oh my God, I just split the deck. We've got the Ace of Cups again. So when we split the deck, we are going deeper into these energies. Oh, so do you want a new start? Because I couldn't help to notice we have the Magician again. So we're getting repeat messages, repeat cards here. It's really solidifying here. Um, what is about to happen? You may be mirroring each other to some degree. So we've got the promise here as the outcome of a brand new start with this person right underneath healing cards. The Three of Cups also comes with healing. And we've got you, the Emperor, Aries energy. Ooh, they're thinking about you a lot. They're just not saying it. There's that King of Cups again, see? Here we go. Clarifying, please, for Aries and their person. Oof. Very, um, I don't know, it's just, maybe there is potential here. Do we have any? This one they're saying. All right, I'll take that one. So these highlighted messages, I always say they carry a lot of weight because this is more what your person wants. So what is their intention here with you? What do they want to do? Wheel of Fortune, yep. They want to change for the better. They want to implement positive change where both of you are on top of the wheel. This is the card of destiny. There is a reason why you met this person. There is a reason perhaps why they acted up and now they've learned major hard lessons here. You have learned lessons here as well. Absolutely. Oof, wow. Bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. Gemini energy. Deep soulmate connection right here. It's also called choices where perhaps you were choosing each other through time because your person, they're going to have to be very patient with you because temperance is the complete opposite of the devil. You know, it's about taking your time, everything in moderation, not doing anything impulsive. I think here yeah, perhaps both of you choose each other now, but do it, doing it slowly because they're, they're treading, they're treading here on very, uh, I'm trying to find the word. Well, let's just say that they're skating on very thin ice here with you. Look at the regret that they have. 
the nine of swords more gemini energy it's it's almost like they're at they're losing sleep saying i can't believe i did this to aries i can't believe i rejected them or i chose someone else i didn't honor them yeah see i knew there was a third party the six of pentacles taurus and the three of swords libra energy so that's the thing your person broke your heart into a bajillion pieces the only thing left for them to do was to stomp on it um so what they did they were very careless with your heart very careless they may have even been uh, uh, you know just regret of giving attention here to someone or something else and then they broke your heart and here they come back the chariot cancer energy the fastest energy in the deck um it look oh wow you've got, ooh, okay we've got a happy outcome the sun is my favorite favorite card and what does it mean now it's about a happy outcome it's about blessings and remember it is a very powerful card the major arcanas they carry a lot more weight compared to these minor arcanas or any court cards like the knights um so it's a happy outcome and it's also healing this broken heart as well more um this card again can show your person is at a distance but they're coming towards you they're literally charging towards you determined to win your heart back from this heart which has got three swords in it to this Ooh. all right let's clarify tem um temperance two of wands that's aries energy there you are the choices do you want to heal this i think you're going to chew on it <laughs> you're going to take your time because this is all about new mm -mm. so it could be new job um you could have a lot going on um actually quite a lot to be honest so new job um it could be um like a new car new travel new romance new partnerships do you want to repartner with this person so it's almost saying here aries that this is looking good but i wouldn't jump in straight away we've got cards here saying yeah then they're probably rushing towards you um but yeah, I, I think here yeah, now's not the time to be impulsive. It's almost like kind of balancing your head and your heart decisions here as well. We've got a lot of cups and there's a lot of emotions here, um, especially for each other. But um, yeah, ultimately you, you, you will have to make that decision either to move forward with this person or to close the door on them permanently. Um, either way, we've got beautiful beginnings here. So let's clarify that eight of wands. We've got lots of messages coming your way from this person. Justice major therefore libra so okay this can definitely be my apology card the scales are finely balanced it is them making up for lost time lost love earning your trust and your respect back there could be some legalities here formal separation signing of documents divorce as well that could be letting you know about this more importantly and this is very very important about justice is always means a yes but the truth will be coming out so all that sneaky energy that we saw before um with this deck here everything's going to come to light and even more so because we have the sun and the rays of the sun will shine on everything nothing will be hidden anymore no bars hold so you're getting the truth you are going to get the absolute truth and that's very important let's clarify the three of cups that reunion yeah something has ended with a third party so the death is represented here by scorpio it is known as rebirth transformation and i always put this kind of visual for you we have the end then we've got that gray area where they're thinking about you and then boop, we've got the end which is the ace of cups here um, again it is a card of fate well, yes where we are seeing fate we're seeing both of these come together again um, they definitely could have ended something formally here also with that third party but this is your person returning back as a 2.0 version they realize e i've got to be a better version here for aries um, i've got to be all action and talk and action but they cannot just be all talk and no action so there's something here there's tr major transformation that's going to happen with this reunion and it's going to be to your benefit so clarifying that three of wands is the moon pisces cancer energy talk about your person being quite secretive aren't they about you know waiting for the right time here um waiting for the right time to message you to strike here as well emotions are running very high so is intuition here for both of you you may be picking up on each other's energy aries i think you intuitively here know that either they're about to reach out or this is just there's unfinished business here and you don't need physical evidence your intuition is saying you, you may be picking up on your person's energy here as well so you're in the dark about this this is things you know hidden unseen not much longer though because the sun is like Dish, whatever is hidden um everything's going to be illuminated mm. this can also indicate that there was in the past perhaps a secret love affair as well so take that as if it resonates if it's part of your situation clarifying that page of cups yeah an apology for abandoning you five of pentacles taurus energy yeah 
It's going to be fueled by emotions, backed by love. It is sincere, but we have abandonment issues here. Very clearly I'm seeing, um, oh, I think also your person's money here is either lost, stolen, or it's being hemorrhaging, probably towards some legal fees, or it's going somewhere where it means the end. You know, they, they don't want to spend it there. Um, but we're seeing here that perhaps your person just abandoned you, they ghosted you, they did a runner, they gave you some lousy excuse, something came to light, especially some secrets. So th that's part of the apology there as well. Or, or as I say, it's got to be a good explanation here, backed by actions. So clarifying the Six of Swords. Ooh, stress if you move on, on your own. Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Physically, honestly, I feel like towards the end, this was very stressful. And you have no problem, Aries. I can see that already because you've got a very strong character, which I admire a lot. You've got no problem moving on on your own because if this person has any, any indication that they're coming here with baggage you're going to say no thank you um i forgive you thanks but no thanks your person is very very stressed about what they have done to you it's almost like they have no right they feel like they have no right to ask you for a second chance or even just to reply to their text message um each single one there does perhaps represent a problem that this person gave you but you're you have no problem dropping these ones at all um, this is a physical burnout card, too many responsibilities, too much on your shoulders, no more Aries. Mm -mm. So they better arrive correctly. And this is probably why they're taking their sweet time. Yep. It's like they're delaying it. <laughs> Ooh, what do I say? It's like I, they, they majorly screwed up here. Absolutely. And that's the thing. When we have another person entering in this equation, things become very complicated. So your person has to uncomplicate this. And they have to do it right with that death card. Let's clarify now the Knight of Cups. Ooh, the star. Okay, we've got a wish card. Um, this is a major uh, arcana for Aquarius. It's about destiny as well. Interesting. It's about healing, hope, faith, renewal. And that's what they're holding on to when they send you this message with the Knight of Cups, with these changes. We've got wishes coming true. Everything being healed as well. And certainly I'm seeing that for a lot of you, your person is definitely at a distance or at least they have moved because we have things like the, um, the sun, the moon and the star as well. Let's clarify the King of Wands. Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm, there you are. And have you noticed something that you are your perfect match on top of each other? The King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Look at that. This was indeed a beautiful, passionate um, connection where you both just got each other. Both of you are go-getters. Both of you are leaders in your own right. Yeah. Wow. You are, And that, this is what makes it just a bit... It's such a shame because you are... You clearly, it's saying here you are each other's perfect match. You get each other. And yet they went and they did this. So both of these will be taking action towards each other. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. The Page of Wands getting really good news from this person. At least they're thinking, hoping. That's very creative energy here on how to approach you as well. Ooh, how does that make you feel though, Aries, with this person? The fact that, I don't know, they want to make things right. They do. I do feel that they have learned their lesson. I was a little bit worried in case they didn't. So what's this message about? I'm so I usually I shouldn't take out another card. <laughs> I want to put this in extended, um, but I'm curious because it seems here that they're going to message you um, for another chance here because they want um, a brand new beginning. What's this going to be about? Page of Wands. Let me see. Ah, judgment. You got it twice. See, you got it twice now. Yep, yeah. Scorpio energy. They're going to ask you for a second chance. I feel a lot of you are going to maybe say yes. Uh, probably a lot of you are going to say yes, but it's all about day by day absolutely i'm so curious now i'm going to take all of this energy now um into your extended yep um and i do i, I really want to dig a lot more deep about what's going on in your person's life right now especially the people around them the endings um what other actions are they going to take because i feel like they, they could be a little bit intimidated coming towards you i mean after all look Look at the, what they did as well. So just to reiterate, your um, optional extended is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. I'll see you on the other side. Um, if not, um, if this is where we depart, Aries, I thank you for your time. I wish you the very best. And may this be very, very successful for you. I can already see that it will. All the best, Aries. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.